Yeah. I can't reach it with my little arms. Take two. Hey guys, thanks for checking back in with the channel again. It's been a while. Um, today I'm just gonna hike up to Harkening Hill again. It's my favorite place in Bedford County. Um, I've got some new gear that I wanna look at and do a quick first impression review of uh, a couple things or at least one thing today and another thing for another video. But we'll see. Um, Harkening Hill on a beautiful spring day. Looks like we probably have the place to ourselves. So come and join me on this hike up to Harkening Hill. It's gonna be fun. Well, it's a gorgeous day on the trail up to Harkening Hill today. It's a nice cool breeze blowing, um, but it's warm. This is the third of what I like to call Bedford's Triple Crown. Everybody's done the Triple Crown in Roanoke, Tinker, McAfee's, and Dragon's Tooth. But this is uh, the Peaks of Otter, which you can see in the background. The Peaks of Otter back there in the background. And then over to the uh, to my right would be Flat Top, and this is Harkening Hill. So this is my Peaks of Otter Triple Crown. But I'm only doing one. I hike this trail so many times in all different seasons. I love it in the winter because there's nobody here. And uh, it's just a whole different kind of beauty. Spring's working its way up the mountain. You can see the mountains get greener from the bottom going up to the top. They're still toasty and brown up there, but not for long. Anybody that's hiked in this region a lot will see these giant balancing rocks everywhere. There's some over on flat top and there's one on the other side of this mountain over here too, but I really like this one. This one's balanced on two stones and uh, uh, it's just amazing. I love this one. Hey all, I said I had a couple of pieces of gear that I wanted to show you on this hike. And the first one is this new day pack I got from Marmot. It's the Compressor Meteor 22. Uh, it's a little smaller than the one I've been using. I've been using one that I bought at Walmart. Uh, just a $30 tactical pack from the sporting goods section is all I've needed for the day. Uh, the day hikes I've been going on, but the straps broke out on that one right here. They just tore apart. So I thought I'd go ahead and get, get a good one. I saw this one online from Marmot. I got it at Amazon for about 75 bucks. Um, it looks pretty good. It's only about 11 and a half ounces. The outside's made out of good steel nylon and the interior is uh, just a polyester interior. But it does have these uh, nice mesh pockets on the outside for putting water bottles or sit pads or whatever you like on the outside. So that's very much like the ULA pack that I use for my longer hikes. Um, I love these side pockets. That's always a good thing. It doesn't have the mesh out here, but it does have a side pocket from the main pocket there. You can open up and put in some things that you get to quickly, toiletries, snacks, things you need in a hurry, right? And the main pocket opens up and out spills everything else. Um, Right now, the, the, the pack weighs 11 and a half ounces on its own, and I've got it weighing probably eight or 10 pounds right now, just because I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. I've got my hammock, piles of snacks, things for the day. But inside, there's a, a nice big opening inside, and it's actually got a section for a water bladder. This is also a pocket, right? It zips open on top, and that's where I like to keep keys and a wallet stuff like that. But under that pack, under this pocket, there's a, a small hole right there. 
that you can, if you want to have a water bladder or a hydration system, you can bring your, your hose out through the back like that. That's really nice. It's got a reinforced handle to hang it up. It's got um, these nice lightweight shoulder straps. I like them because they're lightweight. They're not real heavy. I don't sweat under them, but I'm concerned because they're lightweight. Uh, that's what was wrong with the other day pack I had was that this is the part that failed. So we'll see. This is only the first time I've had this one out. Um, it does have sort of the daisy chain webbing on the outside so you can hang things on it. I got a bandana and a carabiner and some stuff. There's a, a minimal waist strap on it if you feel like you need a waist strap. I don't feel like I need the waist strap on this, but I just use the one on the chest, the chest strap. That's all I need. It's got these nice pads on the back that uh, just keeps, keeps it soft on your back. Uh, if you hike with a good posture, you'll have that airspace between your back and this pack and it keeps the air flowing in there pretty good. It doesn't, it's not a sweat box on my back anyway. Um, it's called the Meteor 22 because it's a 22 liter pack. Um, you can get a lot of stuff in there, but I probably wouldn't want to have it weighing any more than about 10 pounds. I think 10 pounds is probably going to be the most you want to put on this little thing. Um, it's super light. It does everything I need for a day pack. Um, like I said, today is the first time I've ever had it out, but so far so good. I like it. You know, you can just cram it full real quick. And uh, since it is just one big open compartment. Oh, one other thing is they do include this little loop on the out, on the bottom and the top in case you want to put your trekking poles on the outside and you want to just tuck your trekking poles. And then there is one more small loop on the bottom here for attaching. You can put a carabiner on that, hang things from it. I don't know. Um, the bottom's not reinforced. It's just nylon. You know, it's 11 and a half ounces. It's a great little day pack. And I just love, this is my favorite part, is these mesh pockets. Because now I can put stuff in my pockets. Because I hike with that ULA pack. I've got a, a ULA circuit that I take out all the time. And it has the side pockets, the mesh pockets. If you're familiar with that pack, it has mesh pockets on the side. And it also has a big mesh area here for cramming more stuff. But you don't need that with this. All in all, so far today, I'm liking it. We'll see how these uh, shoulder straps hold up in the future, but I think as long as you keep the, the weight down to under 10 pounds, you'll be good. One thing that I have noticed about this pack is that the water bottles are on the side back there, but they're, yeah, they're difficult to get to. I can't, it's really a pain to get that water bottle out. And I think if I did get it out, I wouldn't get it back. I can't reach it. Hold the pocket, but I can't get the bottle out. I could push it up from the bottom if I wanted it and it would fall out, but I'd never get it back in. What are you gonna do? So you gotta stop and take off this little lightweight pack to get a drink of water. I can't reach the water bottle with my little arms. They're really not that little. I mean, I'm a full grown man. I can't reach the bottle. Hey, thanks for coming along with me on this trip. Um, just back up to an old stomping ground here at Harkening Hill and a uh, nice quick review of this marmot pack. I really like it so far. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep taking it with me. You'll see a lot more of it in some more videos. I'm gonna stop and eat uh, one of my favorite things, Justin's hazelnut butter. That's the best snack ever and good old water. But I'm hoping to put up more and better content as we go along this year. I've got a new kayak that I gotta get in the water. I've got all sorts of other stuff coming. I'm hoping to buy a drone soon. That'll be cool for up here. Um, but the content will start improving here. Just stick with us and we'll go to some fun places this year. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, hit me up on Instagram and Facebook too. Links, you know where they're at.